Hello everyone, my name is Park and I welcome you to our channel Must Watch Tips. And if you are using Excel in a regular basis, then you should know these three tips which I am going to show today. It will help you saving you a lot of time. But before we begin, go and hit that subscribe button and like this video. Also, do visit our channel for more amazing videos like this. So now let me move on to our first tip that is you have a data set of so let's say 100 uh, participants or 100 customers and in this cells it is the data of numeric it can be uh, their work hours uh, how much they have purchased a product from you or how much uh, products they have sold so it can be any of this value but it should be a numeric so for total in jan you can just do sum and select the whole range of 100 uh, names and press enter so it will give you the total uh, value of this and i go to down and press ctrl d to drag the formula till the down but let us say you want a specific total in this column in the uh, c2 so if let us assume that your data is very small up to column i then you must do it manually like for example you need to uh, sum the uh, product cell by christine plus product cell by Margaret and Jennifer so you can do like this but what if you want to take a specific sum from this hundred names which we have right over here so the tip is you can just select the whole range then go to formulas and here we have an option of create from selection so let us select this and now here you need to select create the names from values in the top rows and press ok so now see the magic if i press equal to and let's say i wanted to sum the names of linda annie and helen so equal to l i n d a so linda is shown up over here so you can press just press tab plus you want to have a name of annie so annie is here press tab and Helen so the names uh, which are there in the first row are, are the column headers are shown over here in the formula tab itself so you can just select and press enter now you can drag this formula down and you can get the specific sum total so this is how you can do it very quickly and it will save you a lot of time the second tip is let us say you have a data and which is not organized data so first is name and there the marks second is name and the respective marks of this person janet and janet's mark and up to certain number and you want to make a table of name and marks so you're not going to select these then again pressing control button you will select this again this this so you need to make it quickly so what we will do is select we will select all of this range and press control g to go to and here we will select on special and there are multiple options so we'll go to constants and we need only the text we need to select only the text so we will select text and press ok and now you can see that only the text uh, in our range are selected then i'll press ctrl c to copy i come here i'll uh, paste it over here by pressing ctrl v so he in this way i have selected all the names which are there over here again i will select whole range press ctrl g go to special and in constants i will select only the numbers and press ok so in this way the numbers are selected i press ctrl c and here i will paste it so in this way you have created a new table of name and marks in an organized way it will save you a lot of time if your data is too long so now let us begin to tip number three so the third tip is you want to fill a serial number over here in the blank cells here we have a data of location wise name so there are certain locations in my data let us say we have only three locations but assume that you have a huge data and in this uh, blank cell you need to fill one two three 
and again in the second one you need to fill one two three so instead of doing it manually let's say i have a tip for you so let us say i will select all of this uh, range then i'll press ctrl g to go to and we will go to special and we will select only the blank rows and press ok i'll press equal to and let's say n and in the bracket i will select the row uh, the cell which is just above close the bracket and plus one and by doing this i will just have a number series in the blank cell so now i will press ctrl enter and you can see we have filled the series in the blank cells now let me tell you what the formula n do so if i go to this cell and let's say i select n so here you can see that it is saying it converts the non number value to a number so if i select this this is a non number value so if i select this it will give me zero so we have added 0 plus 1 over here so it will convert 0 plus 1 1 and in the second one we have already given uh, 1 over here in the above so it will give this uh, that is 2 plus uh, 1 plus 1 2 so in this way you can uh, fill the blank cell with a series so i hope these three tips save you a lot of time and we have posted many videos like this in our channel so you can go to the, uh, our channel and watch that videos also do subscribe and share it with your friends now it's time to say you goodbye